Good night, ladies and gentlemen. This is old Chef Brent Thomas. I'm going to cook with Brent. Tonight, I'll be making chili cheese fries. So, tune in right here. Right now, everybody. Let's go. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Your French fries right here. You can use any French fries or any size if you want. Okay, you use tater tots, you can use regular fries, you can use sweet potato fries, you can use anything you want. That's totally up to you. I have my Prego sauce, chili powder, ground sage, ground beef, mild and sharp cheddar. I have my chopped garlic, chopped onions. Also, the jalapenos are, you add jalapenos if you want, but this is optional, okay? And paprika, including your basil as well, all right? So, I'm right back with the first step. All right, we're back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is your first step right here. Make sure the oil is nice and hot. And put your fries in the skillet, and you're going you're gonna to fry them, all right? You're going to do your fries and batches, my friends, all right? Do it in batches, okay? We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the show. And now... I want to take out my, the first batch of fries right here. Some of them are starting to get going brown. That's what you're looking for, all right? You see? Or you can, or you can make french fries from scratch too, all right, everybody? And this is, chili fries are great, great as a snack. They're great, they're great for, for your game day party. Because it's, it's NFL Super Wild Card Weekend, y'all. Real talk, one, two, three. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back to the show. And now I'm going to add in the chopped onions. We add it in there. We're just going to cook it as well. We're going to assemble our chili, all right? Give this a good mix and everything, all right? We'll be back. All right. Time in goes my chopped garlic. And one eight teaspoon of chopped garlic. And you're going to mix it all together, okay? We'll be right back. All right, we're going to make to the show. Add time in goes the ground beef. You're going to try and break it down, okay? Don't forget to break it down. Break down the beef. Alright? We'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, back to the show. I'm just going to season up the beef with and salt. I'm going to throw in black pepper. I'm going to throw in paprika. I'll add up the seasonings later on in the show. And give it a good, good mix to combine, okay? The beef makes its own juice. It makes its own liquid. What we're going to do right in here, right now, we're going to rent it out the fat, okay? Mix it in with our onions and garlic mixture. It helps give it the flavor, my friends, okay? Real talk, one, two, three. We'll be right back. All right. I'm going to the show, and now turn to add my Prego sauce. And 
you're gonna stir it up, okay? Stir it up the sauce that I'm buying, y'all. All right, everybody, and the basil leaves. And ground sage, okay? Give it a nice stir to come by. Now add a chili seasoning, chili powder last, okay? All right, welcome back to the show. And now it's time to add the chili powder in. You're going to need like a total of two tablespoons of chili powder and everything, okay? Stir it to combine, all right? We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. And now, this chili is done everything. What am I going to do next is to make the cheese sauce, all right? All right, going to the show. I already melted on my butter. I added flour. Make sure you get, make this roux. Make sure you get it a nice stir. All right, going to the show. Now it's time to add in the milk. Make sure it stir this up. Stir it up so it don't get lumpy and stick on the bottom. Make sure you continue pouring your milk and everything, all right? We'll be back. All right, and then I'm going back to the show. I'm done making a homemade chili cheese sauce. I'm going to come back when the sound assemble. All right, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's time to add the chili to the all right, add the fries while I was off camera. And uh, chili. I'm adding piece by piece. Spread it all around. Do it the best way you can. And set this chili aside. And the cheese sauce. Nice and cheesy, okay? Nice and cheesy. Okay. All right, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Ten and jalapeno pepper. I want to add jalapeno to mine because jalapeno peppers are optional. Just like I said at the beginning of the show, it's optional, okay? If you don't like it spice, leave out the jalapenos. All right, welcome back to the show. And now this chili cheese fries is done. I'm not going to bother to taste it on camera. This is real as it gets. And it's Chef Brent approved. Yeah. There you have it. That's how you make the best ever chili cheese fries. And remember the one and only Chef Brent Thomas. If I could do it, then you could do it, my friends. Okay. So thank you for, thank you for watching Killer Brent on the Saturday night as always. Like. Comment, subscribe, and share. Please give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Smash that subscribe button and hit that bell next to it so you won't miss any episodes of Killer Brent. Have a good night. It's fun with our family. Love somebody. Hate no one. We'll see you next time. Chef Brent out.